so you know what? <sighs> That's how we're gonna do it. It worked. Fuck you, meth. Yes, I'm sorry I had to bring all that math into this, but you know it was necessary. We got it to work, at least. So, I mean, that's something, right? Oh. Fucking hell. That was just... That took way too much effort. Now, I guess we can just fill this in. I'm probably going to regret doing this, but sh screw it. Replace grass with stained clay. I don't know if this works. I'm going to try it. Whites. Unknown data value. That means that it knows stained clay. 12? 13? Oh, oops. It's not grass anymore, is it? Is it 13? No, no, I don't want grass. No, no more grass. Go away, grass. It's not 13. And it's not 14. Is it 16? Yes. I have to remember that. I have to remember that white is 16. White is 16. I'm not going to remember it. I know I'm not going to remember it. Two, three, and I just know that we're gonna have to have that. And as long as we're here, yeah, no, forget it. I was gonna make one of my little day devices, but I don't want to. Wait, do I actually want to go out onto the? Uh. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This whole thing now is a width of five. What does it have in real life? Four. Okay, you know what? This is going to be wider and longer than real life. And no one's going to tell me that I have to change it. Besides, this part's only by a meter. Probably get a full piece of quartz too. Depending on where the quartz is, here it is. Ugh. I don't have enough inventory spaces now. Oh, that's right. I could potentially just. I can't do this. I can't do uh, full blocks. It has to be all half, doesn't it? But I don't want the bottom. Um, yeah, there you go. Oh, crap. Oh, that works, though. Okay. Good to know. Oops. No. That was a weird little glitchy glitch. Yeah, I was walking down here and I realized that I had the same slope and I realized that couldn't happen. So, uh, that's what we're doing. No. I already forgot what I had done. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four.
all of this math. You know, I knew I knew doing this all to scale wasn't gonna be easy. But math, really? It's August. I mean, keeping in mind, I do have to do my entire school summer assignment for trigonometry. So that'll be fun. I gotta do a little packet on trig stuff. Luckily, I kind of know trig. That's a really annoying glitch. Do you see that? It just keeps going down. One. So now on a little unrelated uh, note, I signed up my channel for monetization, so um, I have been making very petty cash. I think in like the first week that I had it, I made like two bucks. You know, isn't too bad, I guess. Okay, and that is the height of the actual building's roof. Where does the building start, you may ask? Well, it starts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right here! So even though. 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the building's center. Sorry, not the center. It is the building's uh, floor. So now that I'm thinking about it, this probably cannot be, because how high would this make the, f the thing? Actually, um, yeah, three. You don't need higher than three, do you? You're walking to a freaking monorail. That's all you're going to be doing in here. You're not going to be running around, jumping all over the place, and if you do, you probably shouldn't be. Okay, well, now that all that math's out of the way, it's time to transform this area into, um, when it's, when all the paths are in. So, ready? I'm gonna stand on top of this block, and the next time you look here, I'm going to look directly down. No, I'm gonna look... What measures this? The thing and the F? Yeah. So I am 137, 136.974. Yeah. So when you look back here, you're gonna see it done. Well, you're gonna see the paths done. You know what I mean. Okay, we're back, and um, <clears throat> I finished the pathways, and I also went on and just for kicks, I checked out what. MC Magic, which a lot of you guys have probably heard of. It's another Minecraft Disney build. Um, I checked out what they had done for the Transportation Ticket Center. And the first thing I noticed was there's a lot of purple. And, I mean, I don't know. I guess a lot of the fence things like this are purple, but I'm going to use fence purely for the width. And hopefully at some point Mojang allows us to dye fence. Because that would be amazing. Everybody tell Mojang. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it turns out that they did... Basic, or I did basically the same thing that they did. They also have four over here and five over here, and they also go five blocks into the air. Now, I don't want anybody to think that I am copying them. Um, you saw me working out of the math in my head, and it's probably really annoying to watch. I'm sorry about that. But um, yeah, it has nothing to do with what they did. Um, all of that was done myself, and I figured that all out myself. It just happened to work out the same way that theirs did. So, um, just wanted to alleviate anything, just in case that you saw the comparisons. Also, I like the sign better than theirs, because it's like cyan and blue. And, yeah, the fence posts are all purple. Um, but they also did a similar thing that I was going to do, and that was to have, on the ceiling, have um, iron underneath the court ceiling, just so... Um, just so... It, cause, so you're looking up, and you see the... You see the um, the iron, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that yet. So we'll see. Let's just switch time today. Now, 
Um, I know, because I was just there, that when you leave... Well, first let's get the... <laughs> let's get the, um... The, uh... I can talk. Um... The, the floor of the transportation ticket center in. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's go. So, replace 0155. Boom. Now. I guess it's a matter of how big where the track is. So let's go into Google Earth for a second. Okay, here we are on Google Earth. Now. If, let's orient this that way so we can see. Um, into the ruler we go. Now, there is four and a half meters, which will round to five, between um, the start of this and the monorail track. Between the start of the thing and where the track of the monorail meets. So four and a half rounds to five, and so this is five. Um, so it's gonna be five pieces of. Tr uh, no, it's not gonna be five. So we need a break in between the the rail. It's gonna be three, I guess. So back into Minecraft we go. Okay, here we are in Minecraft. Two, three. We don't need this anymore. Um, there we go. Replace zero forty-three. Um, don't know what's going to be going on underneath. What the situation is going to be underneath here. So we'll hold on. We'll hold off on that. Also. Um, this little thing should probably end. After that. That's where that should end. That may... Because the whole reason that was there... Um, is because the iron bars... See, it's great in this case because the fence is actually made of metal. So I can just use bars, which makes it very easy on my part. Zero with iron underscore bars. It doesn't look the best, but you know what? This is what it is in real life. So I'm sorry. It's Disney's problem. They designed it. Now I know up here... There is also, um, a what's it called? There's also a fence thing. I'm just not sure where it ends. And before we do that, we should probably get the, uh, the whole track area down. So hold on just a second. So it turns out that the 3D models of Walt Disney World are not lost. I just downloaded this one at the Transportation Ticket Center from the Google Earth 3D Warehouse thing, and I downloaded SketchUp Viewer to view um, the file. So now I can actually go inside. It's probably very laggy on the file, but it's okay. I can go inside and I can check it out. So see? Just like being there. And so now I have much more... Um, much more stuff to look from to do 3D modeling. And I'm not going to show you guys this all the time just because of how laggy it is, but um, still, it was a really nice find. So that SketchUp viewer is really, really cool. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to flip back and forth between there. And it's pretty laggy. But now I'm just going to have to download like all of the files. That's pretty cool. I really like this. It's just in the golden days of having uh, Google Earth have 3D Im images. Okay, so. I do also need to have... Uh, 
Hmm. Now the problem is this is that little gate. I don't know if you guys um, remember or know, but there's a little gate right here. So I guess we'll have to have a fence gate. I don't really like fence gates at all. Never really like them. I mean, it's okay if you're using if the rest of the area is fence, but in this case, it's not. That kind of looks out of place, I think. I know there's another one somewhere down the way. Let me just check out where. Oh, it's on the right side. But it is, like, halfway down. See, of course, the issue is there's no, um... There's no... Ruler... In this. Let's see if there's... What's the toolbars? Face style? Animation? Oh, this is actually like an animation program too, it's not just like, just images. I've never used SketchUp before, maybe some of you know it better than I do. Okay. Uh, too many windows open at once, okay. And then I guess we'll have to have another fence gate, like here. I really think that looks incredibly out of place, but there's nothing I can really do about it. Or I could just not have... Um, I could just not have a gate at all, but I think there should be one. So we're gonna keep it down over here, and replace 043. Uh, 43 back so forward slash, whatever, whichever one that is, does not recognize. Okay, if you hear noises behind me, it's Julia. She's sitting in and watching. Want to say hello, Julia? What? No? She doesn't want to say hello. Um... Hmm, this is going to be more of the quartz going on the side. I guess. But it doesn't stop. It doesn't air, does it, according to Google Earth? Oh my gosh. Um, something amazing just happened in Google Earth. Which I will show you. Right now. <laughs> 